praise is due to Allah. We seek His help, we seek His forgiveness, and we send salutation upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, and all those who follow his footsteps till the day of judgment. Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, time to time we hear from people, and especially those who are elderly people, they say and they talk that 30 years ago from now, 35 years ago from now, 40 years ago from now, they got the opportunity to buy a land, to buy a real estate. And at that time, that land or that real estate was so cheap that they could get it. But now they are saying this story and telling that incident with all sadness, with regret and disappointment. Why is that? Because they couldn't get the opportunity, even though the opportunity was there. But they didn't take a proper action at the proper time. So now they are saying that that cheap land or that land that was having very low cost value, today that become with hundreds of thousands of whatever, dinar or dirham or dollar. In fact, it become worth millions. And now these people are regretting and feeling sad and bad about something that they didn't do 20 or 30 years ago or 40 years ago. Even though for them, the money was available. For them, the time was available. For them, the efforts and the whatsoever, the struggle that they have to go through, everything was available for them, but they didn't take the proper action at that time. The same thing, my brothers and sisters, the same incident of being disappointment or having a disappointment or being regretful or being a sad, the same scenario and more horrible scenario will happen in future. That will happen on the day of judgment when people will come and stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the accountability. The same thing will happen but not with the real estate, not with the land. No, no, it will happen with the good deeds. The people on the day of judgment when they stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will look back and they will say, Subhanallah, that one deed, one hasana, one good action that I didn't do, though it's worth like a mountain of Uhud. Like a mountain of Tihama, as the Prophet ﷺ said, and they will regret about it. They will regret about it. They have all the possibility that they can do all the good things, but they didn't do it, and on the day of judgment, they got shocked. Subhanallah. Similarly, the same situation is for us and for everyone that we will stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those people who couldn't do anything basically and actually they can do but they didn't do it out of laziness or just not being so serious about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so same people don't they have the ability to travel and take a plane and travel for two or three or five hours and reach a certain place or a certain country and take care of one orphan sponsoring an orphan sponsoring a family or sponsoring a, a woman who, who's a widow or taking care of building a mosque, or taking care of building a house, or taking care of building a hospital, or orphanage, or whatsoever. Yes, they can. But they were too busy in the dunya. Leave all that aside, traveling and looking and this and that. While we are here, my brothers and sisters, look at the facilities and the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He gave us at this time. Alhamdulillah, that with one click, with one click you can sponsor a yateen. With one click and one link that you can sponsor a widow with one link you can take care of a family with one click you can build a house or build a masjid or whatsoever you can do just by sitting doing nothing and more than that didn't we have time to do dhikr and get closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we all have time we all have the same 24 hours that i have you are having and we all have the same time cannot we Invest this time with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all sit at home. We all sit in the gatherings, in diwaniya, in, in the you know, waiting area, in places, wherever you call it, in the car. We have time while we are not investing that little bit of time to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and get the amal salihah because that one deed that you are thinking that it's not really serious, you are serious about it, that one deed will be in the size of a Jabal Uhud, Uhud mountain on the day of judgment. Didn't we have time to pray extra nafil, for example, my brothers and sisters, even though we have the same time, 
right? We have same free time, all of us. Yes, alhamdulillah, we pray five times a day. But did we ever thought to just increase that and get few extra nafil prayer and get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Helping others, doing whatsoever from a'mal al-khair. My brothers and sisters, a'mal al-khair, they are a lot. You might say, well, I cannot do this. If you cannot do this, there are a lot of other good deeds that you can do, my brothers and sisters. Wallahi, I'm telling you, the people that I'm talking about on the Day of Judgment, we are including, right? So we all come on the Day of Judgment and we will see the reality of that one good deed, that reality of one dhikr, that reality of the two rak'ah, or whatsoever good that you can do in this dunya, you will realize that on the Day of Judgment. But what happened? We are the one who got lazy and induced to obtain any of that opportunity or any that amal salihah in this dunya. You know what will happen? You have now two scenarios. The difference between the two scenarios that I gave you about the real estate and our akhirah, the real estate, those who couldn't buy the land for 30, 40 years ago, they will be regretting by knowing that the price of that land become in millions, but obtaining that land is not impossible. Same people or all of us on the day of judgment when we realize that the one hasana, the value of one hasana is like more than a mountain, but obtaining it, it will be um, impossible, my brothers and sisters. This is the difference. The difference between two scenarios that the person who couldn't buy the land, he will say, oh, I wish that I will buy that land or I could, you know, buy that land. But on the day of judgment, those people, they will say, as Allah said in the Surah Al-Fajr, what they will say, يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِي قَدَّمْتُ لِحَيَاتِي They will say, oh, I wish that I can give something for my life. I can give something for my life there. Which means this is a temporary life and not forever. This is not even considered as a life, my brothers and sisters. Why? Because this is just a transit period. You know, transit, everyone travels, right? So you want to go from point A to point B, your final destination. So the plane goes and the plan take off until after some time and then it will land in one place in a certain country for an hour or two or three or four you as a clever person you will do will you do go out and go out of the airport and buy and sell and open your luggages and do whatever you want to do or you will just stay quiet for some hours and then go to your final destination and do whatever you want to do this is a real believer so this dunya that we are living in, it's a temporary dunya. And whatever you will do, you are doing it for your hayat. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya laytani, oh I wish, qaddamtu li hayati. I should give something. I should d did some good deeds for my hayat, for my coming life. So that is the original life and the real life that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us my brothers and sisters. So, Never ever underestimate any good deed, my brothers and sisters. Never ever. Any good deed, opportunity you see in front of you, and you can do it, do it. Even partially, do it. I know one brother, may Allah reward him. Simple person, simple man. Not rich, not super rich, nothing. Just a simple man. But what he, do, what he does, may Allah reward him and accept from him. Every time he receives a message in a group on WhatsApp or whatsoever that says, well, digging a well, so-and-so organization, digging a well, so-and-so organization, building a house, so-and-so organization, taking care of orphans in Africa and Asia and this and that. So he clicks on that link. He sees the page. It requires thousands of thousands of dinar. But the man is so simple, what he will do? Every time he will not miss a single opportunity, sometime according to his ability, he give 10 dinar. He give 5 dinar. In some time, he told me that he gave only one dinar. He cannot, but he's just paying one dinar for whatever the project is. Imagine that one dinar that he is putting in a project of a school or an orphanage or a hospital, that one dinar will come on the day of judgment like a mountain of Tahama, like a mountain of Uhud. Imagine. So he never ever leave the opportunity. Is it difficult, my brothers and sisters, for us to do that? Allah gave us, alhamdulillah, especially in this country, Allah gave us the security. And Allah gave us the tranquility. And Allah gave us all mean of you know, peace. And Allah gave us, alhamdulillah, the ability that we are eating and, and living in a place. And Allah gave us the opportunity with this technology. Why we are not using it to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because everything will not stay the same. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep his blessings upon us and this country. But nothing is same. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, These are the days Allah keeps switching between 
you know, people. Sometimes people are rich, sometimes people are poor. Sometimes people are insecure, and some people, once upon a time, having the security. So it's up and down all the time. So take that opportunity, my brothers and sisters, and get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatsoever that you can. For whatsoever that you can. not And last but not least, my brothers and sisters, I would conclude with the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that is narrated by Abu Hurairah in Sahih Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Badiru bil a'mal salihah Hasten to do good deeds. Rush to do good deeds. Whatever the good deed that you can do, do it before it's too late. Because Allah gave us this opportunity that we are living here and we have all the means of rest and peace and alhamdulillah, uh, food and money and whatsoever, then try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing any single action. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who always follow the Quran and implement the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Last but not least, what the ulama said, that never ever underestimate any good deed. Never ever underestimate any good deed because you never know which hasana, which one good deed and which one virtue on the day of judgment will take you to the jannah. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those people who are always doing their best to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. Allahumma a'azza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Allahumma a'azza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Allahumma a'azza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Allahumma a'azza al-Islam bina ya rabbil alameen. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرشته ولا دينا إلا قضيته برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة